Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, creepers, weepers and chimney sweepers, welcome along to the Joe Spivey YouTube channel where we discuss books and little else. And welcome back to another of my um, sort of loosely organised um, discussion videos, folks, um, where I sort of just take a topic that seems to be uh, pungent in the air and um, sort of just, just sort of uh, put it through the ringer a little bit really. I know that's already mixing metaphors but there we are talking about uh, a, a discussion that is hopefully close to all of our hearts in this community and heaven forbid slightly wider. Um, first of all this, this, will, this will not be a kind of um, a sort of post-game diatribe, you know, this kind of young Teutonic creator that has scaled the heights and you know, uh, uh, looks down from the crest of the hill at, 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 at this, this kind of panoptic, uh, uh, um, you know, panoramic view of everything. Um, I'm, I'm, I, of course, only have 3,000 subscribers, so I can only, I, I can't exactly say that that uh, uh, fame and money haven't changed me because I've uh, achieved neither of those things, nor do I want to kind of, in a sort of uh, a Jonathan Haidt way or a Jonathan Miller type way, I don't, I don't want to diagnose anything. I don't really want to put on a white lab coat and, you know, point things out and, um, you know, get a load of test tubes with liquid in them. I don't want to get too scientific. I just want to, I think the phrase is shooting the breeze over in the States, isn't it? Or chewing the fat. I'm not sure. I just want to prevaricate and to uh, uh, mumble on and on and on in my sesquipedalian style. Um, so yes, it's um, the, so I'm going to um, lay out and examine some, I've already used scientific terminology, haven't I? Lay out and examine um, uh, positives and negatives of book video creation on YouTube and BookTube and indeed how or whether those positives and negatives have affected um, my production of videos and indeed heaven forbid my day-to-day -day existence in what is uh, most colloquially termed the real world. So hopefully that's outlined things <coughs> reasonably clearly from the get-go and we can um, 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 tread lightly. So um, <clears throat> first of all I think the most obvious one is that um, a community of booktubers has, or, or a, a community of like-minded, clear-minded, and um, really sort of generous and genial book readers has been. I, I have, I have latched onto, or at least um, put my oar, or put my fishing rod into a sort of an already gushing stream, or whatever. Um, for those of you that are sniggering the back in the back because I used the the, the phrase gushing stream, then kindly absent yourselves and come back when you've matured. Um, so I, I feel as if I've jumped on a bit of a bandwagon, but I have nonetheless found myself and I, I believe won and um, uh, sort of, yeah, won over and persuaded and um, managed to make uh, 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 um, common entrance of some some very nice readers. We've, I've, I believe I have introduced a great deal of uh, people to Anthony Trollope, for example, and to George Eliot and to I don't know, Bertie, uh, I was going to say Bertie Worcester, then P.G. Woodhouse and perhaps even Agatha, you know, um, things that uh, authors that, that, that perhaps have been, um, you know, have, have, have had their throats stamped on by academia or by, uh, have been, you know, completely nullified or dulled down by <clears throat> lacklustre teachers. I have, heaven forbid, uh, heaven forfend, um, recommended them to you and you have um, fallen in love with authors that you perhaps wouldn't have had I not sat here and um, chanted in front of a camera for 15 and 20 minutes at a time. So that's obviously a great positive. We've had some, I've had some lovely comments. I've met people um, and I am indeed because of my booktube being primarily now a, um, a, a regular reviewer and contributor to Open Letters Review and hopefully to some uh, other venues in the future as well. Um, with that, you know, so if, if I had not, uh, if I didn't have an, a, a, a technological oeuvre, if I didn't have a body of work out there, then it's a mystery as to whether I would have um, been able to have, you know, contacted the, 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 our, our patron and pariah Steve or, or Hannah, for example, or Renee or Josie talks about books or any of the other the, the, the content creators um, that I uh, that I often talk about and that I regale you with. Um, so yes, that's that's obviously a positive. Uh, second of all, a lot of booktubers doing similar videos like this in the past or YouTubers in general have commented on on the way in which it has um, uh, what might we say sort of uh, regimented them and um, <clears throat> cleared up their speech and made them. Um, you know, sort of Gladstonian in their pronouncements and, and, and a, just a little bit of a better talker and a, a better explicator of their um, of their, their thoughts, essentially. Um, now, it must be said that the reason I started this booktube channel was on the insistence of friends and family members who noticed that I could, you know, go off on tangents extemporaneously and could wax lyrical from the pulpit and 
you know, was 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 not scared of you know popping a diatribe in there or whatever. I, I I I've always been able to just talk and talk and talk. I've always had I think what was termed in the sales industry the gift of the gab, and yeah, I've always had a, a you know a, a reasonably comedic turn of phrase. So it it was because I was already I felt pretty adept at, at talking randomly to to nobody, as it were, um, that, that 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 I that I um, started the YouTube channel, but but I will say that it has it has certainly um, put a fine edge on things. I, I've noticed, for example, that it has performed a, a necessary pogrom on expletives, both obviously on, on here, I don't think I've ever, as of yet, sworn on here, um, and indeed in real life, I find myself, I, I, I don't find myself cussing as much, uh, nearly as much as I used to. I used to make um, a kind of a middle-aged docker sound like a nursery teacher. I was indeed um, quite foul-mouthed, um, but 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 that seems to have gone certainly on here and certainly in real life. I don't swear nearly as much, except of course when my favourite sports teams lose or or things of that ilk. Um, so that's that's again another positive. Um, as I say, I and I, I also think that I now, as a result, take a, a greater pride in my comprehension of books. Of course, if I had never been committed things to um, um, YouTube, then. You know, I could have just thrown a book aside over the sofa or, or shoved it under the carpet and have could have, you know, uh, uh, resigned it, heaven forbid, to the secondhand bookstores without ever having um, allowed for at least a, a gestation period to occur. Um, and uh, whereas nowadays I, I find, most notably with, with War and Peace, um, that I'll go, get into maybe a little bit later, that I am, um, my endurance, which was already right up there, has um, been furthered by the fact that I'm, I, I feel as if I'm not in a nefarious way, not in a... Um, uh, uh, not in a, a ridiculous way. Um, I, I feel as if I'm held to account by some of you guys. If I start, if, heaven forbid, if I start to read along, I've got to finish the damn thing. Otherwise, I'll be seen as a, 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 a sort of anemic and weak reader who, um, you know, who, who, who is negligent and backed out. So there has been a greater endurance in me, put, uh, you know, instilled within me, as it were. Um, so that those are some, uh, I guess, positives, aren't they? They are. They are uh, unadulterated and unbridled positives. Um, some negatives, of course, we have had, uh, you know, as per usual, um, we've had the, the, the comment section has been burdened and envenomated by some of the most pernicious bilge possible. Again, um, I know, thank goodness I'm not a 22-year-old a, a female um, because I that, 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 that wasn't ridiculously attractive, for example, because if I was that not ridiculously attractive 22-year-old woman, I know that I would get twice, thrice, four or five times the amount of... Um, uh, 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 ridiculous criticism based upon my immutable characteristics than I do now. Uh, I'm very aware that, that the fact that I have a, an appendage between my legs and pectorals rather than mammaries means that um, I don't get nearly as much criticism as, as I say, the, the, the corresponding uh, uh, female would, my, my general opposite number would. So that's nice. But we have still had usually people that are, um, what might we say, outsourcing their, uh, uh, their, their resentment at life uh, onto onto myself, and they, yeah, they're just usually sort of superannuated yobs that are um, ceaselessly dissatisfied with their uh, uh, um, their their worldly global situation, and are usually just just as I say, talking about an immutable characteristic. Of course, um, I'm not averse to criticism. If you think that that you know, in my, my presentation has been poor, if you think that I've um, rushed over an author or writer or subject that warrants uh, a greater examination, a more uh, intrinsic examination, then then fair enough. If you think that I'm just plain wrong-headed on something, fair enough. But if you're, as I say, if you're going to highlight an immutable characteristic, i.e., oh Christ, isn't he plum-throated? Oh Christ, look at the pigments in his skin. Oh Christ, let's speculate on his socioeconomic origins, yada yada. Um, then, frankly, you can get in the bin, folks. And um, that indeed has... It's, it's, it doesn't predominate, it's not preponderant, it, um, it, it, it barely registers, frankly. And, it, in fact, we could easily... Um, in in some in a display of sort of intellectual calisthenics, we could probably refashion it as a positive, could we not? If I say, for example, that I've never allowed it to ruin my day, if I get twenty five positive comments telling me that I'm wonderful and that um, you know I have provided uh, a delight for most viewers, and then, as I say, some uh, 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 some ridiculously corpulent git in an egg stained vest tells me that um, I sound rather pompous and I should. Um, bugger off back to Cambridge or whatever, um, then then fair enough, you know, I, I, I ha thankfully I have put that aside. But it is a negative and it's something that um, uh, the world would be uh, uh, forever nicer without, but there we are. Um, 
Again, I, I, again, you could probably turn this one round as a positive as well, but I do find that I am, um, whenever, whenever I am uh, 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 not enjoying a book, whenever one is upsetting me or, or enraging me or I'm finding it uh, slightly subpar or a little lazy or, or not quite to my, um, if it's not quite tailored to my personality or, or quite to, um, you know, some of my reading uh, proclivities and dispositions, then uh, I, I, I used to... I used to bail a lot more on books than I now do, I think. I've, I've never been a big bailer. It's probably one in 20 or 25. I've only bailed on two books that I've ever walked on, uh, talked about on here. Um, and indeed, even in those instances, I've, I've sought to explain myself, even when I have done that. So so um, what I'm saying is I'm, I'm much more willing to bang my head against the desk for days and weeks at a time in order to solely just produce a YouTube video to say that I've read the book. Which is unhealthy, and is is uh, which is why it's in the, which why it's in the negative column. Particularly, most notably, most recently with War and Peace, had I not had a you and again, this may uh, evolve into a, a brilliant positive if I'm drawn back to the book in decades to come. Um, but if I didn't have a YouTube channel, I could well imagine myself having plonked the book down and um, you know just just sort of resigned it to my shelves for years and years and years. But because I had set up a bit of a read along and and felt a kind of um, a kind of uh, anonymous and um, sort of ineffable pressure in order to finish the damn thing, I got through it. And yeah, as I say, I, I, I didn't find any, many subtle valences from it. I didn't know what to think. I was completely dumbfounded. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm much more willing to put to bang my head against the desk. And I am yeah far more likely to finish a book, which is, of course, positive and negative in that finishing the book could well be unhealthy for me, or at least the attitude of, um, you know, kind of, smashing through a book in a, in a, in a slavish way um, rather than sort of releasing myself from some of the, the bookish chains is isn't the healthiest and I recognise that in myself which is why I am hopefully quite um, uh, deliberative and, and, and shrewd in my selections for books as well so yeah that's another negative and, and the final one really is is the biggest it's the uh, the elephant in the room um, as the proverb would go it's 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 about um, the the kind of the peremptorial dictates and the again the kind of faceless allure of the algorithm. I mean, what is the algorithm? Does it have two point four kids in a Vauxhall Astra in the suburbs? Does it go watch a football team at the weekend? Does it have an, an illustrious history? Does it enjoy fish and chips? What on earth is the algorithm? Can you present it to me on a spreadsheet? Can you pop it into a test tube or a vial? Can you can, can, can it can it be smelt in the air? Can it be uh, can it be travelled to? Is it a is it a pilgrimage? What on earth is the algorithm, and why do we do we find its claws sunk so deeply into our shoulders? Um, yeah, I, I would be lying if I said that the titling of some of my videos, not the content, that's crucial. The content of my videos would would be uh, 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 indiscernible um, with the algorithm uh, as they would be from from without the algorithm. But I have found that my titling and at least some ways in which I present some of my ideas on here have been uh, informed, whether consciously or subconsciously, by the algorithm. And I've done a few videos such as seven books to get you out of that reading slump or what, it, what, what, what was that video that went massive? Twelve classics that you should read with me this year or some things like that that, that I have noticed have been popular and you know in order to in a, in a kind of not an altruistic or buddhistic way but to get my message out there to more people have perhaps tailored my content to that algorithm i have long since said on this channel that i have I, I i don't derive much i derive, obviously i derive some uh, uh self-worth from the amount of zeros on uh, the end of the videos obviously if something gets 12 views even though i get hundreds on each one that's that's going to be uh, um, it's going to sort of, it's going to just going to rankle me and, 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 and make me more curious. But I, I have noticed that, as I say, the, 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 the algorithms, as I said earlier, peremptorial dictates is, um, yeah, it, it doesn't loom large, but it's there. It's certainly there. And, um, yeah, I suppose as a way of wrapping up and a way of, um, moving, sort of, perhaps even heaven forbid, handing the baton on, I want to know from booktubers and, uh, booktube creators and heaven forbid, uh, um, in a sort of wider sphere, YouTubers, um, do you notice these similar things? What other things have you noticed? Um, has YouTube changed you as, this, as the title of this video goes? And um, yeah, have, have, has it been, it's, it's almost certainly in my case, if you want 
you know, if you want my hand on the Bible and you want a, um, you want to, you want to, me to attest to something, um, I, it, it's it's been a, a a a ridiculous positive in my life, of course, with 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 a few teething snags. Um, so yeah, I want to know about from creators and observers um, whether you notice these things and what else you notice and. Um, yeah, I, I think it's just, it's, I just noticed the other day that, that I wasn't nearly swearing as much. I remember being very, very angry in front of the television um, at something on the news. But I, I remember um, perhaps six or nine months ago, I'd have been, as I say, hurling invectives at the television screen and would have been, uh, you know, the, 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 the finger of the bleeper would have been um, would have been broken. I was swearing so much. But nowadays, I, I tend not to do it at all, really, because... Um, my, yeah, my longest perorations nowadays, which are to you guys, no longer feature any swearing whatsoever. And that's got to be a positive, um, because heaven forbid if I were to walk into a job interview and start effing and jeffing and, um, you know, calling the people behind there the, 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 the most, um, the most sort of unfavourable gits or whatever, the, you know, whatever the, the, the cussing equivalent would be, then that's not good for me and it's not good for those I'm uh, conversing with. So that's... Yeah, it's it, it just something just something that's been going around in my head, things that I've been considering. And um, yeah, it's, it's not something, you know, in a Petersonian way that I've been grappling with. I've not been wrestling with these tenets for for years and years and years. I've not been examining the, the corpus, the biblical corpus or anything like that. But but they've been in my head. Um, they haven't been bothering me, but but I, I felt um, uh, sufficiently animated to, to make a video about it. So, yes, um, goodness knows what you do with, you know, do with the content of this video what you will folks um i think that's pretty much it i'm gonna wrap up here uh, i'm currently uh, reading my way through richard bradford's uh, biography of martin amos there will be a review of that out uh, i'll probably be doing that on monday or tuesday for you i'll be finishing it on sunday or monday um and yeah as i say getting a, getting a review out to you asap so yes um, i'm now the industrious and assiduous youtube creator thanks to many thousands of subscribers so yes i'm going to wrap this video up here and say thank you ever so much for watching booktube and say goodbye